Hi, welcome to this episode of Digital Discoveries. And in this episode, I want to show you a really inexpensive way to control your iPads while you're waiting for a cart or some kind of syncing device to come with it. Now, in our school district, a lot of uh, campuses are getting their iPads before they're getting carts, they're sinking carts, or they're charging carts that go with them. And so what's happening is that they want to use those iPads, they really want to get their students up and running on them, but there's some issues with, uh, with where, do you want to, where do you store them, where do you put them since you don't have a cart. I want to show you a picture here of something that uh, was brought to our attention uh, just a few days ago. This is kind of what's happening if you don't have a cart. People are taking out their iPads, they're kind of all just like plugging them in. And what happens, if you notice in that picture there, what happens is that we can start scratching the, the screens of the devices, we can start, uh, uh, if these are on tables, uh, the, the surface of, uh, of an iPad is very slippery. And if you start stacking them on top of each other like that, they're going to slide off. And you can just imagine they slide onto a floor, we've broken a device before we even got going using them in our classes. And so we want to avoid this kind of spaghetti looking thing right there where, every, where we're plugging a whole bunch of iPads, stacking them up on top of each other. And so today, I want to show you a little trick that you can use that's very inexpensive that can help you uh, uh, it, while you're waiting for a sinking cart or a docking station, uh, this will get you up and running. And so let's talk about what you're going to get. All right, so here we have, this is a box. This is a box that comes with our iPads. This is, this is a 10 pack of iPads. And so if you've uh, received iPads on your campus, if you haven't bought them in onesies, twosies, you're probably buying them or getting them in packs of 10. And when you get them in packs of 10, you get this box. And so let's open up the box here and see what happens once you get inside the box. When you get inside the box, there's going to be something on top of the box. And you're like, oh, what's that? And you pull that out. And these are all of all the, the wires and the charging, the little charging devices that go with your iPads. And so there's 10 in a box, so you're going to get 10 devices. So don't throw these away. Keep them, because you can't charge your devices without those. So we're going to put those off to the side. Then you get this kind of uh, egg crate kind of thing. And that's going to be very important. So don't throw that away, because with this, you're actually going to use this for your little temporary iPad docking station. So don't throw this away. And if you get a box of 10, there's actually going to be two of these per box, one on the top and one on the bottom. So you can actually use both of those for up to 20 iPads. And then your iPads are in the box too as well. Now these iPads here have actually been, uh, the, they've actually been uh, part of a grant, so they already have their covers on them. So a typical iPad is about that thin. And so in a second, we're going to show you how to set up a temporary station using the egg crate thing, your iPads, and the chargers. So hang on just a sec. Once you have all the iPads in your egg crate, or iPad crate, I guess, you want to make sure that they're all facing the same direction. So you have like uh, the home key facing in one direction. So I have all my iPads. You can see it's hard, kind of hard to see, but you can see that all the, all the home keys all the way back are all on the same side. So we have them all going in one direction. Okay. So next thing to do is to attach the charging cable to the iPads. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so now we've hooked up all the cables, and you might want to like stretch the cables out. Um, you might even want to get a tie of some kind, like some kind of, um, and so you want to have all the cables stretched out nice, because otherwise you're going to end up with spaghetti, and you don't want spaghetti. And these cables, 
they've been in these boxes for a long time, so they automatically coil up. And so we want to get them all out to where you stretch them out. You might even want to number the cables. That's fine, too, because eventually when you get your cart, you're going to number them as well. So here we have 10 iPads, 10 cables. Now we've got to hook up the power. OK, so let's talk about power strips a sec. You're going to have to eventually plug your, your temporary iPad station into power of some kind. Most schools have these types of power strips, where you have the holes going this direction. And those are OK. The trouble is that you can only put a couple of these devices in at a time, because they're going to uh, interfere with each other because of the size. So you can only have two or three of these going in those kind of power strips. Three, at mu three if you're doing good, four if you're really lucky, but usually you get about three in. So if you've got ten devices, you're going to have to have three power strips going. A better solution is to find a power strip that looks like this. Have a power strip that's got the devices looking like that, so you can plug them in a different way. So when you do it this way, you can plug in all the devices at one time. Let's see how that works. Once you have them plugged in, you can actually get six going at a time, which is a lot better than just having uh, one or two in, in a device. So now you start plugging your devices in. Now, depending on your usage, depending on what you're doing, you don't have to have all of them, all your devices being charged at the same time. Um, you could have some devices being charged during lunch period. You could have some devices being charged overnight. You could have some devices being charged um, during conference periods. There's all different ways. If you're only using three or four devices in group settings, then you have the other ones charging while you're using the other ones. So this is the way to get a whole bunch done at one time. So this is the way to get six devices. Got to be able to put it in the right way there at least going at a time. Now, we talked earlier that now it still kind of looks like spaghetti, that's for sure. It still kind of looks like spaghetti, but you can make that look kind of nice. You can put a, a, a tie around that there if you want. And of course, we're here on a table. It's kind of a different situation than you might have in your classroom. So you can actually tie these off. You can put a tie in there. And it's not quite as bad as, as <laughs> all that spaghetti. So this is the way to do a temporary charging station for your iPads. Now remember, because you've got two of these little cardboard things in each box of 10, that you can save those. And you can actually set up two charging stations at one time. So you actually, just with one box, you can actually put in 20 iPads. So that's the way to do it. It's a way to keep them organized, at least temporarily. Now, this is not as good a solution as using a locking cart, of course. We want to keep these secure. You want to keep them where they won't accidentally walk out the door somehow. But in, the, in a temporary situation, these Little egg crates that come with your iPad 10 packs work just fine for keeping your iPads organized. You can even, if you want, you can even number the iPads on the crate so that the kids put them back in the same order every single period. So that's how you'd set up a temporary iPad station. You can set it up in a room. You can set it up all in one space that's in a locking environment. And that's how you do it. So that's a cheap. Inex well, cheap and inexpensive. It's an inexpensive way to, uh, to use your, these crates that come with your iPads as a temporary iPad station. I hope that works for you. Be sure to look for these kinds of charging stations.
that do sideways instead of long ways. And uh, we'll see you next time on Digital Discoveries. Thank you.